Hey everybody, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. I'm Silver Orpheus. Last time, we made it here to Lon Lon Ranch and learned Epona's song. Also cleared up some Sculptulas and got another heart piece. This time, with everything done here in Lon Lon Ranch and pretty much everywhere around Hyrule, really, we are about ready to proceed on to Death Mountain, where we are supposed to be going next, because that is where Impa pretty much told us to go. Yeah, we are about ready to go to Death Mountain. Wow, um, it feels like yesterday we actually started this. Um, well, good news is that it's not actually deadly in this game. Bad news is that it's not that, it's not exactly deadly at all. Um, also it's about to be nighttime, which brings us a perfect chance to show off the sun song. Well, uh, we've already shown it off, but I don't think we've actually shown it off in the overworld. So, that can be a good thing to do, because we haven't exactly done that yet. And, yep, and this is where we do it. We're going to go ahead and play the sun song. Once you hear the, ro once you hear the wolf howl. And, there we go. It's now morning again. So... We're gonna go ahead and head back into Kakariko Village because that is basically where we gotta go. So I'm I'm running out of things to say here. So moral of the story here is that well, we're going to Death Mountain. That's basically all there is to it. So this is coming out on a Saturday, which is actually kind of funny because this is actually the first time I am actually uploading a video on a Saturday, I think. There might be a Final Fantasy VII video released on a Saturday at one point in the past, but it's, but so, but usually I've been more about weekdays, but no, I'm actually hoping to jump on the daily schedule uh, train now. The road is closed beyond this point. Can't you read the sign over there? Eh, oh, I see. You're just a kid and you can't read yet. Ha ha ha. Well, what we gotta do here is that I gotta. As that I have yet another excuse to put away the ocarina of, I almost said ocarina of time. Um, but we have yet another reason as to replace the ocarina so far. Oh, this is this is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. Hmm. Okay. This is Link. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. Wahahaha! <laughs> what kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? Okay, okay, all right. You can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. Wahahaha! <laughs> I actually kind of like this guy. He's very cheerful. Definitely wish I was like that. But, um, I don't know. I guess I make people laugh in, like, a different kind of way. But that's kind of, well, this guy kind of does a better job than me. Also, this guy has a spear, so uh, I don't think I want to be messing with this guy. Tell them I sent you, and they should give you a special discount. Cool. Well. Uh. Uh. Now, I'd like to ask a favor of you. No, I don't expect you to do it. Just because of the great tip I just gave you, I'm just asking. Have you been to the Happy Happy Ma to the Happy Mask Shop that just opened in the Hyrule Castle Mar Town Market? Everyone is talking about it. My little boy pesters me for a popular mask, but I don't have time to go there. So, could you go and get the mask for me next time you are in the market? If you don't feel like it, that's okay, but... Well, I have no choice. This is my job. Alright, now I'm gonna go ahead and get my ocarina back, because I'm very much tired of... Game. Thank you. Uh, I don't want to have an... Because now that letter is absolutely useless now. But... We finally made it... To... Death Mountain Trail. Alright, so... We are, so we now have a new enemy. These are Red Tech Tikes. And... Whoa. Um... And he's dead. Now, De now Deku sticks actually do a better job at this, but since I'm actually running quite low on them, uh, it's actually kind of effective to do it this way. Uh, I hear a gold Sculptula. Unfortunately, I don't think we can actually do anything about it now. Oh, and he's dead. Nice. 
So yeah, welcome to Death Mountain. This place is actually not that deadly at all, unless you count dying to a red tektites, which um, I don't think we will. And up there, I see a heart piece. Um, that's for another time. Anyway, we gotta go. We got this guy over here. Uh, we can't exactly talk to it. Uh, oh, now we can? There we go. I am one of the Gorons. The stone-eating people who live on Death Mountain. Look at that huge boulder over there. It blocks the entrance to the Dodongo's Cavern, which was once a very important place for us Gorons. But one day, many Dodongo suddenly appeared inside the cavern. It became a very dangerous place. On top of that, a Gerudo in black armor used his magic to seal the entrance with that boulder. If you want to hear, hear more Goron gossip, head up to our city. Goron City is just a little way up the trail. It won't take much longer to get there, even on foot. I'll take your advice, because we're because so, we're just going up a mountain. That's that's not really that bad, now that I think about it. But now, that's pretty much where we're going. Death Mountain Trail. We got Gorons in the meantime. Let's actually talk to you, see what you have to say. Uh, provided you don't put your head full in the rocks. Uh, there we go. They say that a beautiful fairy lives on top of Death Mountain. Don't you want to see her? Um, not right now. I, I kinda, I'm kind of on the job right now. Now, watch out for this Goron right here. He will knock you off the mountain. And he also takes away a heart. Grand! Um, I might actually get my first game over to that enemy. That's very sad. I don't really want to die uh, to a Goron of all things, but... Oh yeah, that's another thing you gotta watch out for. Time does pass in Death Mountain. Although I don't think it actually changes anything here. So what you want to do over here on this mountain or right on over here is that you want to hug the wall. Because that Goron will move on over there, giving us free passageway to move over here. And I like throwing rocks, so let's actually and then throw that. Yes, hearts. Okay, we're at max. We are good to go. No need to throw the others because there's pretty much no need to. And welcome to the Goron City. So, here we got a bunch of Gorons. We can talk to this one. Oh, I'm so hungry. Everyone feels faint from hunger because of the foot shortage, from the food shortage in this town. We are in danger of extinction. It's all because we can't enter their quarry, the Dodongo's Cavern. We Gorons live on a diet of rocks. And the most delicious and nutritious rocks around are found in the Dodongo's Cavern. But that seems like ancient history now. We've become such gourmets that we can't stand to eat rocks from anywhere else. Uh, I want to eat the top of top sirloin rocks from the Dodongo's Cavern. These guys eat rocks. That's something. So over here, we have these ropes. Now, you want to be careful not to fall off of them like I just demonstrated. Um, so yeah, this is the Goron City. Uh, there is a Goron over here rolling around all over the place, but um, it's not really that uh, dangerous. Now, there is something we're supposed to be doing here. So you guys might see this. This is a... He's right here. We can't do anything with them yet. Now, what we have to do is that we got to come on down here. There's nothing else to do. Actually, no, there's not. So over here, we play Zelda's Lullaby, and with that played, we can open the door. Now in here, we have one of my favorite characters of all. What the heck? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived, but you're just a little kid. 
Has Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons, really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king? Now I'm really angry. Get out of my face now. Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Ancient creatures have infested the, D the Dodongo's cavern. We've had a poor harvest of our special crop, bomb flowers. Starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage. But this is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. Well, uh, it seems we can't do anything with him, but what if we were to do this? Wrong tune. So. Wrong tune. Wrong item. Oh, wait, it's left. I keep forgetting this kind of thing. There we go. So, we're gonna play Saria's song in front of him. See what that actually does. And with that, he starts breakdancing. And what has to be one of the most high polygon count sequences I have probably seen out of an N64 game. Yeah, he, he's jamming. He, he likes this. He likes this. Oh! Oh! Okay, that's... Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! I like this guy. He's a... He's very energetic. Well, anyway. Certainly enjoying his time here. Yahoo! Hey, what a nice tune. Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I am Darunia. I'm the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the spiritual stone of fire too? The spiritual stone of fire, also known as the Goron's ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on, I'm not going to give it to you that easily. If you want it so badly, why don't you go destroy the monsters inside the Dodongo's cavern and prove you're a real man? That way, everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want, even the spiritual stone. I have something for you. I'm not really giving the, giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyway. If you wear this, even a little fella like you can pick up a bomb flower using A. We received the Goron's bracelet. We can now use bomb flowers. So yeah, um, we're now going to go and blow crap up. That's pretty much exactly what this item allows us to do. So what we're going to do here is that I uh, can't exactly do actually can we not we can shoot it off can we I would imagine we can no we can't shoot it okay so much for that uh Deku nuts probably aren't gonna do the case either oh hey look a Deku stick uh that, that's good good for utility so now that we have access to bomb flowers um there's a little something that must be brought up. This area over here. You might hear the theme of the Lost Woods playing. Well, we're going to go ahead and drop a bomb rock right on over here. Bomb rock. Uh, I'm thinking of Pikmin. Uh, bomb flower. And we open up a path. We come in here. And welcome back to the Lost Woods. Yes, we, got a, we had a free shortcut into the Lost Woods now, and we can also take that area to go back into the Goron City. Very very good to know. But we have important business here in the Goron City. And that important city, important city, that important thing is that we need to, well, go and free the Gorons going into the Dodongo's uh, Cavern. So how exactly are we going to do that? Well, what we need to do is that we need to leave the Goron City, first of all. Uh, there's something over there. Actually, I could attempt the bomb to go... No, 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 don't do that. I could attempt to, uh, to throw a bomb in that urn, but it's not really worth it. And even then, it's really not going to do any wonders. But what we can do... I 
think this is the exit. No, that's another path. Here we go. This is this is the way out. So up here, we are going to find ourselves a new path. Also, I just saw that Goron or like something over there explode. Anyway, what we're gonna do is that over here, we got a bomb. We got a bomb flower. Uh, I don't want to do that. Wait, did I just miss? Oh my god, I actually missed. What you want to do is that you want to throw it down there. Which means it should actually blow up. There we go. And with that, we have opened up passageway to the, to the Dodongo's Cavern. So what we want to do now... Is that we want to come up... Provided I can climb. Guess I can't. Okay. So, over this way. We can jump off. Miss horribly. And I will see you guys back up there. Okay. Let's go. We did it. Okay. We finally did it. Alright. There we go. And with that, we get a heart piece. Now, we have three. One more, and we're at six. Sounds cool. And anyway, up in there. That's where we are headed. Next time, on The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, we head into the, into the Dodongo's Cavern. See you guys then.